Hi friends, welcome back to SBK English Academy. In today's class, we will discuss the romantic prose writers or essayists. The, these four romantic essayists changed the tradition of writing essays. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you do subscribe, subscribe now. See, romantic prose is very, very important in history of English literature and every year there is a question in both UGC NET and KSET English literature on the romantic prose writers or the essayists. So, first we uh, discuss essays, uh, that is first essayist of romantic case. Charles Lamb. Charles Lamb was born in 1775. He had violently attacks of insanity in 1795 to 96 and had to live in an asylum for about four weeks. He had a sister called Mary who tired comedy and Charles tried tragedies. His first important work is Tales from Shakespeare, 18, 7, 1807, which he wrote with collaboration of his sister Mary. So you, you remember this Tales from Shakespeare is a, an essay written by Charles Lamb. This is a collaborative work of both Charles Lamb and Mary Lamb. His most remarkable work, which made him to be acknowledged as the prince, as prince of essayist, was Elia Essays of Elia, which published in 1823. So remember, in many uh, question paper, the question was asked on the last point. So. Uh, who is called as the Prince of Essayist? Huh? Essays of Elia is written by. See, in this Essays of Elia, the, that uh, Lamb collected all his essays and wrote all his essays about his personal expressions, personal expressions only. Then Charles Lamb, see, uh, all his essays are personal. See, this question was asked in one of the... Uh, UGC net question papers. All his essays are personal impressions and experience. All his essays, the essays which are collected are uh, in that essays of Elia. See, essays of Elia, it is a work, a collection of his essays. Those all essays are personal impressions and express expressions. Be careful about this point. His first essay was the South Sea. The South Sea. He never married and died as a bachelor. He had a lifelong friendship with Samuel Coleridge Taylor. He is regarded as the Prince of Essayist. And other works of Charles Lamb are very important. The question is asked on this list. Huh? Dream Children, Dream Children, Praise of Chimney Sweepers. Imperfect Sympathies, A Fool's Day, Desertion and Desertion on Roasting Pig, Grace Before Meat, A Chapter on Ears, <clears throat> Mr. Battle's Opinion on Whist, Old Bachelor, Old Familiar Faces, A Bachelor's Complaint Against the Behavior of Married People, Old and New Schoolmaster, The Two Races of Men, the Valentine's Day, witches and other night fears, popular fallacies. You have to familiar with all the all these ones that are dream children, the praise of chimney sweepers, fool's day, the old family faces, and another one, the bachelor's complaint against the behavior of the married people, and that is uh, uh, essays of Elia. So these are very very important. You have to keep in your mind these. Hmm? five essays of lamb 
the next important or the second most important prose writer or the essayist of the romantic is is william hazlitt uh, he had he, william hazlitt is an english essayist drama and literary critic painter social commentator and philosopher you know that this william hazlitt had multiple talented personality because he, he was an english essayist uh, he was the painter and critic of both drama and literature see social commentator and the, even though also he was a philosopher so he is now considered as the greatest critic and essayist in the history of english language as it stands in the first rank of english essayist his essays largely contributed to the morning chronicle the examiner the london magazine so the the morning the morning chronicle the examiner and the london magazine these are the three great uh, magazines which that hazlitt hazlitt gave his all essays to or contributed all his essays to these three magazines the question may ask to which magazines that william hazlitt uh, contribute all his essays <clears throat> he was the first famous in the miscellaneous form of essays see other works of or miscellaneous works essays of hazlitt see important table talk the spirit of the age sketches the plain speaker the life of napoleon bonaparte winter slow and also he wrote on books on nature on painting on sports and, ga and and games on prizes fighting on the indian juggler see this is very important indian juggler he is then important essay written by william hazlitt many in many question papers uh, this question was asked who was the author of indian jugglers and the ignorance of the learned so my first accountancy with poets it is also essays of essays by william hazlitt farewell to essay writing on living to oneself on going a journey and indian jugglers and the ignorance of the learned so these are very important especially you have to keep in your mind the indian jugglers and the table talk in many question papers the question was asked in on these two essays so next important uh, prose writer or essayist of romantic is is thomas de quincey is also very important every year the question paper the, the question is on this on his essays see he was an english essayist and translator many schools many scholars suggested that in publishing confession of an english opium eater which was published in 1821 inaugurated the tradition of addicting literature in the west you have to remember this in 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 many previous question papers both in ugc net and case set question this question was asked this is very important point from this dequency which is taking for uh, that question paper so english opium sorry confessions of an english opium who was the author of this english confession of an english opium eater most of his essays are written for the blackwoods magazines all his essays were contributed to blackwoods magazine so uh, other works of dequency the confessions of an opium eater uh, is was published in 1821 the most important you have to remember this only the english mail coach murder considered as a fine art the knocking at the gate in macbeth wala voladmore lake reminiscence revolt of tartars the logic of the political economy you have to remember only confessions of an english opium eater from this prose writer so another one very eh, very vital and very significant essays of this age is that is thomas lowe peacock 
Thomas Lau Peacock was born in 1785 and died in 1866. He was an English essayist, poet and official of the East India Company. He was a close friend of Shelley and they influenced each other's works. Peacock is best known for his essay, The Four Ages of Poetry, which was published in 1820, which provoked Shelley's famous critical prose, Defense of Poetry. It was also published in the same year, 1820. See, in his essay, that's Thomas Law Peacock, that is in Four Ages of Poetry, he is he badly attacked the English poetry. So, so that is the work of four years of poetry. So, Philip Sidney, the contemporary of Thomas Love Peacock, again he responded, replied to that uh, four years of poetry of Peacock in his defense of poise, poetry or poesy. He, in his essay, he wrote about the gradual origin and development of the poetry. He divided the English poetry into four ages. See, they are, they are ages, age of iron, age of gold and age of brass, very important. So, who divided the English poetry into four ages, that is iron, gold, silver and brass. You have to remember this. The question will ask on this. The poetry was originated in the age of iron and the age of gold is its noblest products. So you have to creep on these points are uh, the, about four ages of poetry and also this was an attack on uh, English poetry. The Philips uh, P.B. Shelley's defense of poetry is the uh, reply to that of four ages of poetry. And uh, this L Thomas Love Peacock divided English poetry into four ages. Those ages are ages of, age of iron, ages of gold, ages of silver, and ages of brass. So this is very important. These two points are very important from Thomas Love Peacock. Not anything more else for this. See, and some other information about Thomas Love Peacock. See. The age of silver is, what, what are the four ages he, he is tell about that? The age of silver, the age of silver is artificial in which poets are recasted or imitated the poems of the age of gold. See, the brass age was the age of poetic decay and decline. He, 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 he described here in the age of brass that English poetry decayed and declined. Peacock confident, con, defined poet as a semi-barbarism in a civilized community. So, what that Peacock said about, a, about the poets, poet is a semi-barbarism in a civilized society. Huh? Keep this point in your mind. Uh, and, uh, and other of his works, what are his other works? The Four Ages of Poetry, published in 1820, uh, Recollection of Childhood, The Abbey House, 1837, uh, Memoirs of Shelley, uh, The Last Day of Windsor Forest, remember this, very important about this, Windsor Forest, Prospectus, The Classical Education, so these are uh, works. See, so these four poets, uh, Charles Lamb, Hazlitt, De Quincey, and Thomas Love Peacock are very important essayists or prose writers of this romantic age. So, uh, which pointed I highlighted in this in this video? You have to remember and keep or note down in a notebook these points only. The question will be. Huh? Asked on these points from these pro four essayists. Thank you for watching my video. Please like my video, share as possible as to other groups of your friends and your friends, and also you do subscribe to my channel. I am making 
the useful videos for all the examination of that uh, UGC English nut and case it. Meet again in next video.